This is exercise number seven in the Paint with Lens series of short lessons. Today we're painting a gorge in mono colour. Later on in the series we will paint this scene in full colour. I have here on my palette white and ultramarine blue. We'll start by picking up a little bit of the blue and I'll draw a cross. This area here is the sky, the mountains and here's the foreground. With the white I'll start painting in the sky area. I do want my brush to stay clean so I'll paint the white in the bottom of the sky and then move up into the ultramarine blue area. Use a crisscross brush stroke to put your paint down and then smooth it out with long brush strokes over the area where you want the painting. I'm using canvas and acrylic paint. You might be painting on board and you might be using oil paint. Darken your sky at the top with your crisscross brush strokes and blend it out. And that's our sky. Start with the most distant mountain. Put a blob of blue, add some white and mix them together with your brush. Concentrate on the ridge line. Keep your eye on the very tip of the brush and don't worry about what the rest of the brush is doing. Just concentrate on that ridge line. This area reminds me of the Gross Valley in the Blue Mountains above Richmond, New South Wales. A very rugged area. Have your mountains slightly different shapes and blend them gently down into the valleys. Fill under the mountain with white and bring it up into the mountain. This will become the mist in the valley. You need to add more blue as you come forward with your mountains and tone them down with the white, but slightly darker each mountain as it comes forward. The mountain can disappear up into the sky. Keep your brush strokes flowing into the picture. As you're working you will be tempted to go dark so keep adding your white. We don't need to go too dark. If we keep our mountains very pale it will give us a three-dimensional look when we come forward with our foreground. Now this mountain is a bit more forward. I can use a more rugged brush stroke and maybe I can just see the trees there. And we'll have a bit more mist. And now with a darker brush stroke we'll come in with the foot of a mountain that's quite close to us. So it comes in at not so steep an angle. Clean your brush because we're finished our background. And now we pick up some very dark and paint in the first stage of the foreground. This area is going to be big rocks. Paint your rocks in with your brush with deliberate brush strokes. Top of the rock, side of the rock, back of the rock, side of the rock and then pick up some white on a clean brush and paint in the sunlight on the top of the rock with one brush stroke. Other direction, one brush stroke. We need crispy colours here so clean your brush before you pick up paint each time. Now for our tree, load your brush, dark on one side, light on the other. Plenty of white and plenty of dark. Turn the brush so the light is on the inside. Now where to put the tree? Down through here. We're going to curve it, give it some character. Don't have it cross this intersection or that intersection or that intersection. Try and bring it through without crossing any of those. Start by slowly bringing your brush down and push it harder as you come down. And another one. That's our trees. Darken 
or lighten whatever you need. And with our little round brush, our soft brush, loaded with two colours, we can twiddle in our branches. Give your branches a jagged look, but don't worry too much about them. We need to put foliage on later. We can cover any bad branches with foliage. Remember to keep cleaning your brush so you will have dark and light. We need very dark and very light. Have a few branches crossing each other and bits of bark hanging off the tree here and there. To balance the tree I need to put a branch here. I'll take it out and then back into the picture. I can take one across here but not a prominent branch. We'll darken the butt and put a few bits of bark hanging off the butt. Let's have a few twigs coming in in this direction. That'll balance the picture a little bit. They need to be light and dark also. And with a round hog bristle brush we can dab dab some foliage. The brush is loaded with light and dark crispy colours. Keep your foliage in umbrella shapes. Not too much. Have plenty of breaks between the foliage so we can see the nice blue distant. And don't cover over all your white. You do need that white in the distance. Little bit of foliage on our little tree. But that's more delicate. A more delicate brush stroke. Then fill in the bits between the rocks with the same brush stroke and make foliage in between the rocks. Anything that doesn't look like a rock, dab a bit of foliage over it. And then I'm using my hog bristle brush, you can use the fan brush, to flick up a little bit of grass here and there. That's our blue tree. I'll touch up a few pieces in the foliage. And a twig would look good coming in here. Very carefully I'll bring it into the picture. And just to be different, let's place a couple of red birds right there. It's a dot and a dash and a tail. Do it again, a dot and a dash and a tail. Then, very careful, shape your brush well and just put the beak on the birds. That is a blue gorge.